Okay, I thought I'd do a little video. This is on a Scotsman uh, key, tubular key duplicator. This also um, will cut tubular keys by code. I just tested it out. It uh, was out of calibration, but I recalibrated it. I'm going to show you guys how to calibrate it. It comes with a little Allen screw right here. And what you do when you go, let's say you it's out of calibration. What you're going to do is you're going to take a key that's already cut and you'll put it into the jaws. It doesn't have to be any specific spot. One thing about these jaws on the tubular code machine, you loosen it to tighten it, if that makes any sense at all. Okay, so as far as calibration, if you, I took already I took off the bottom panel. But if you look down here at the bottom, you'll see two Allen screws and this uh, uh, bolt right here. So if it's out of calibration, when I say out of calibration, when you go to cut a key, if it's cutting one side of the key but then it doesn't touch the other side of the key or if it's cutting too deep into the side of the key, what you're going to do is you're going to loosen up this bolt here and you'll loosen up both these Allen screws and then this takes two hands but basically I'm going to try to do it with one hand to show you. So you're going to slide this open, if you can see in there, to one of those uh, existing cuts. Let me put a key on here so it's easier. Give me one second. All right. So you're going to slide it open to an existing cut. And then you'll slide it down. And yet, when you're holding it, see how it's in the cut right now, the cutter? I don't know if you can see that. While you're holding it, you're going to flip it over when it's in the cut. And you'll tighten this up until it's snug. And then you'll tighten these up. And what that'll do is it'll lock into the position up to the right to the right cut. Or the right depth. And you also want to make sure, because if you're using one of these uh, ace keys, you want to make sure your settings on number two. Which my settings on number two. And two refers to the collet that it's using. So once you set that, you're, you should be all set as far as calibration because the depths are already preset on here. It's really not adjustable. So uh, once you have that set, you're good to go. Um, now this machine looks like how I bought this off of eBay. It was around $100. Um, this is a $1,300 machine. And one thing about buying these used, they might look rough and they might be out of calibration, but really they don't ever get a lot of use because... The most most times somebody's actually going to use this is if they're doing some vending machine keys and maybe they'll cut a couple hundred of them. But the uh, these are rated for like five ten thousand keys before you have to replace the cutter. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to repaint this and redo it, and I'll do another video once I'm done to see what it looks like. Uh, the shield is a little fogged up. You can see that. I'm going to probably put a brand new shield on it. Um, one thing that was missing now this. The Scotsman, and this is actually Scotsman, HPC bottom out. The HPC is identical to this, except it comes with one more collet. The collet refers to the size of the key. See how that key won't fit on there? And then it's too loose on here. So you're going to take out the collet and put it at the end of the cutter. So that, that number two is the standard size that you use. Now the HPC one, they added one more collet, a smaller collet. So I'm going to probably order the, the smaller collet and tap and put it on here. And then I'm also going to, um, there's an indexing wheel that, go, you don't need it. It goes on here and just allows you to look at it at the same time. It has a number on it when you cut it. So I'm going to order that indexing wheel also. And what you do is you just leave that clamp down to a blank key all the time. So that would be your key that you're going to use. Um, oops. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you this new machine, new old machine I got. Um, I cut a couple keys on it already after I calibrated it, and it just works perfect. So uh, once I redo this, I'm going to take it all apart, repaint it, uh, put, put a new uh, plate on here. I'm probably going to put a HPC, uh, a serial number plate on here, um, clean it all up, go through, add the extra collet, and uh, get that indexer. And this is going to go on one of my service vans. But, uh, you know, why spend $1,300 when you, and there's other options, you, there's other cheaper ways to cut keys by code, but I just thought this was a neat machine, and I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, I'll do another video once I get it done. Signing off.